Hey guys, so today I've got something a little different to tell you about. Leapfrog had sent us a product. It is their new uh, Leapfrog Leap Start system. And it's available in two different ones. It's uh, the Junior, which is preschool, pre-K, and then the Senior, which is for uh, kindergarten and first grade. Now we have the Senior one, but basically they're, they run on, they, they can all run the same books. So the only difference is the design is a little different, but I'm gonna tell you about those today. So here is the new Leapfrog Leap Start program. Okay, so once again, this is the Leapfrog Leap Start, and this is the uh, senior, which is for kindergarten and first grade. The only difference, well, other than the inside, is the younger version does have a handle. Now this one does not have a handle, as you can see here. So this is the front, and then here is where you're gonna attach, this is your USB. To, um, because this is going to be like similar to some of the other LeapFrog products, you're going to have to connect it to your computer in order to pull the uh, audio for the books in. And here they do have a uh, headphone jack, so that you do have that. And then here is the back. The only thing that I'm not fond of is it isn't rechargeable. So, I mean, you can do rechargeable AA batteries with it. But um, as far as the system itself being rechargeable, it is not. So when you open it up, let me take this book out here to give you guys an idea. This is what it looks like on the inside. So without any books at all, you do have this, which is really neat, and this, and then here's the pen. Uh, the pen is rather big, I think, given the age that it's targeting. It would be nice if it was a little smaller. And the cord is not very long, which is fine because it will fit in there. And so we're going to cut it on to kind of give you an idea. And it's not very loud. I know I keep hitting the, the, the volume button to turn it up, but it's not very loud at all. But like Attach this is what comes in. Book with your stylus to begin playing. So to give you an example, you One can cup. use it for just this, which Three I thought it was kind of kinda neat. So and then you have over here you have your your notes, which is kinda handy. They're learning music. They can play the different instruments and it tells them about it. So there's that. Now for this product, LeapFrog sent us a couple of books. We received the Kids World Atlas. This is what I was telling you about that even my nine year old really enjoyed looking at. So there's that one and I'll give you a peek inside that one. We also have the uh, pre-kindergarten and this is the level two and this is for ages three to five. Now, as I mentioned, all the books will play on all the devices. So the same books will play on this one as well as it'll play on the junior version. So this one was pretty simple for uh, Luke, but remember again, this is pre-kindergarten. So this is math that we've already done. I do want to check out, they do have a math that is for the first grade level. I do want to check that book out because he may enjoy that one. And they also have STEM books available as well for the first, gra first grade. So those I do want to check out. And the books aren't that crazy expensive. Basically, they're $12.99 a book. So that's pretty reasonable um, once you have the system. There's also, we got the shapes and colors. And this is for preschool. And I'll give you a peek inside this one as well. I mean, it's, it's perfect for those that are just learning this. So we'll look in that. And then this is something that just came with it. It's a Let's Play and it's a sampler book. So it's got some different things in it, which is kind of neat because it gives you an idea of some of the things that the books have to offer. So like the level three, I mean, which is basically your kindergarten. All right, so we are gonna take a look at these. All right, so if you'll notice, when I first opened that, I did remove the book. Inside here, you have these little things right here which is great because it holds your book in, so you can just kind of snap your book there and it's gonna hold it. So your book's not gonna fall out because you know, you know, kids carry things oddly at times. So that will work in there. But, let me turn it on here. I turned it back off since I don't have the rechargeable batteries. But to give you an idea, this one again is the World Atlas. And so when you open it up, they can travel around the world. And you can do the, this is the level one you have to complete the level one before you can go on to level two. And then these are hints if they get stuck. So like we can hit the star and she's going to ask Let's us a question. Let's learn all about our world. Listen to the question and tap the postcard that shows what the question is asking about. Find the Eiffel Tower in Paris, France. Okay, so she's asking us to find the Eiffel Tower. So if I click you on that, it. so we found it. At night, the tower 
And then um, one that mine really loved was the, um, both of mine really liked this, the map here. They thought it was really neat. And as you can see, here's like a neighborhood. So it's great because basically it's teaching them to do the maps and things like that, which is very important. And it's things that they're actually going to learn in kindergarten. So uh, we just completed our kindergarten last year and we had curriculum like this. So this is going to be getting them kindergarten ready if they are even doing this prior to kindergarten. You have your music. So all kids love music. And so with the music, they can click on whatever they want to play and it's going to play it. And then if you, when you want to stop that page, you hit the hand and it's going to stop it. They can do hockey and here this is going to give them information on Africa. And so it's just filled with all kinds of stuff. Um, something that my boys really liked was this part. It's the different uh, languages. So it's teaching them Arabic, Spanish, uh, Swahili, and they have the different ones over here. So like if they want to click on, and this is sorry, so if they want to say sorry in Arabic or Spanish, and if, you can, if you've noticed, I've got this cut up as loud as it'll go, and it's still not very loud. I wish the volume worked a little better, and they also really like this, the map. And, you know, this is your maps. And if you click the maps, it tells you I'm from Australia, and this is our flag. more about that. India's flag. There are over one billion people living in India. And there's this. And this just tells you what the different uh, things do inside the train. They can click on that, and it tells them what it does. This is, I thought this was really neat. It's got your Chinese numerals, your Roman numerals, and your Arabic course what we use and you can follow this and on the way you collect the different coins and things like that so it actually is a game but they're also learning as well and you have the different maps and I'll let you uh, hear what these maps do let's see let's start it here listen carefully and tap on the animal whose name you hear answer as many questions as you can before time runs out get ready tap on the Chilean flamingo so just tap on the flamingo. Chilean flamingo. Tap on the red kangaroo. And then here is a look inside the shapes and colors. So it's just going to open up. And they have the different colors and things like that. And their shapes. Their keys are their shapes. So it's all about teaching them the shapes and the colors together. And once again, this one is for uh, two to four year olds. So it is preschool. It's level one. So they have, you know, the patterns and the music and things like that. So this is really neat for that age group. So we can touch the dinosaurs on this one and we can hear their sounds that they're going to make. So see, like I didn't touch the dinosaur here, so I did something different. That is neat. And this is, and this is where they're asking you, you know, he needs a purple shape, so we can touch any purple shape, and it tells us the shape. So he needs a red shape. So you know, this is great for them learning their shapes and colors. And then here's a look inside the uh, Pet Pal Puppies map. Now, both of my boys have always loved Pet Pals. And, um, but now this one is for your three to five year olds. So as I mentioned, it's a little easy for Luke. So it's not something that he reaches for. But this is what it looks like on the inside. And they're gonna kind of match the picture over here with this. And you have Betty and Bella. And I'll let you see what that does here. Okay, so it's telling us that Bella and Betty want to collect things, and Bella wants all the soft things. So we'll select stuff like that for her. Um, if we click the wrong thing, look in the garden. Tap all the soft things. Kind of gives us a hint, you know. Obviously, that wasn't soft. And then on this side, you've got your numbers, so they can actually practice writing their numbers, which is really neat. So we can. Pick a puppy Cooper. to play with. Cooper has a green rake. Tap it. He wants to use it 
to dig for crabs. So once we do that, we can pick a number. Four. Four crabs. Terrific. Let's trace the number four. And then we trace it. So this is going to teach them to count. You know, I said I wanted to buy three things, so she tells me to find three bags of dog food. So I click on those. So it's really neat. I mean, this is going to teach them their counting. Once again, you get your patterns, which is very important for them to learn. They have their mazes and things like that. Basically it. That is a look at the Leapfrog Leap Start program and the books as I mentioned you can purchase the books for $12.99 a piece which isn't that bad. The system itself is uh, $39.99 so once you get your system you can purchase the additional books and like I said it does come with you know how some of the other Leapfrog products have in the past you do get the sample book here and it kind of gives you an idea of the different uh, things and this is showing me the different things available for levels three and four so and as I mentioned you know the level four is the one that I would like to check out more uh, because of the first grade level to see more of what that has to offer but if you have any questions leave them down below I'd love to hear from you and thank you